And we're working on word problems with the Pythagorean theorem. This one is, a ship leaves port and travels 100 kilometers due east, then turns south, due south, and travels 75 kilometers. How far from port is the ship? So let's draw our picture. Okay, here's our port, and it must be on a coastline somewhere, so there's land over here. And we're going to travel due east, so the ship goes out due east, 100 kilometers. And then it's going to turn due south, and it's going to travel 75 kilometers. How far is the ship? So here's our ship. I like to draw a little flag on it, even though it's not a, a sailboat. <laughs> How far is it from its port? So this is the diagonal distance. So here is my right angle where I turned. So now you can see we have a right triangle that measures 100 on one side, 75 on the other, and we have to find the hypotenuse. So I'm going to use a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where a and b are given as 100 and 75, and I'm going to solve for my hypotenuse, or C. Well, 100 squared is, what is that, 10,000 plus 75 squared is 5,625. I'm going to add those together to get C squared. So let's take 5,625, and I'm going to add to it 10,000, and that gives me 15,625 equal to C squared. To undo a square, I'm going to square root both sides, so let's take the square root of 1,000, or 15,625, and I'm going to get 125. Okay, so let's go back and put it in the context of the problem. 125 is my distance, and that is in kilometers. So the ship is 125 kilometers from port. Now let's look at the second problem. Okay, on this one, we have to find the perimeter of a triangle. Well, on this, we were given a grid where we've got some points on the grid, and I'll darken those so you can see those a little bit better on the video. Okay, now let's look at the length of each side of this triangle. Okay, the side that we can actually count, this side, this a vertical side, has two units. So that's two units tall, and the base is one, two, three units long. And we need to find the perimeter. Well, for a perimeter, we're going to add all the sides. So we know two sides, and we need to know the third side. Well, the third side is just the right, is the hypotenuse of the right triangle. So let's take 2 squared plus 3 squared and solve for the hypotenuse or solve for the C. So 2 squared we know is 4, 3 squared we know is 9, and that's equal to C squared. So 13 is equal to C squared. Let's convert that to a decimal because we now have to take the square root. So I'm going to hit my second and square root button, whoops, second square root of 13, and I'm going to get 3.61. So C is equal to 3.61. Now we're not finished because we have to find the perimeter, which means we have to add A plus B plus C together. So let's take A, which is 2, B, which is 3, and C, which is 3.61. So it's going to be 5, 8.61 uh, units is the perimeter. And that's how you'd find the perimeter. Hope this was helpful.